Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is about the S point on audio samples. So this is a fairly common thing and there's a sort of clunky way to do it but there's actually a much better way to do it as well. So that's what we're going to see. So here I've got a fairly uh, piecemeal example. I've just got a loop. And what I want is to reverse this symbol and have it leading up to bar three. So this is a fairly common thing to have to do. So first thing obviously is we need to reverse this. and Typically, what you might do is just turn off snap and then sort of manually place it, etc., and get that where you want it. So let's just make sure that's doing what we want. Yeah, so that's fine. Now, the problem that comes is that the beginning of this sample is now in a weird place. So you have to solve that because if you want to move that around, you probably want to turn snap on because snap generally is your friend. Not always, but most of the time it is. And if we were working in a large arrangement, we don't want to have to zoom down to like sample level to have to do it. So a, a bad solution for this is to turn the grid on and then set this to something like, let's say bar two, just to make it so you could really zoom out and so on. And you'd need to put a fade in on that because if we listen to this on its own without the fade in, you'll hear that comes in a bit abruptly. So what we'd probably do is put a fade on that. But that's not always a good solution because sometimes you don't have a bar, etc. So I'm just going to undo that. So here we are with it in its original point. And what you need is to use the S point in the sample. So if you open this up in the editor, you'll see this S here. And you want to drag this to somewhere sane. So in this case, I'm going to drag it all the way to the end, to that point there. And then I'm just going to zoom right in. So sometimes you'd have a bit more sample left at the end. Sometimes you wouldn't, but there you see there's a little bit, but I'm happy with the way that sounds. So I'm just going to put that bang on there. And now when I move this around with snap turned on, you'll see it's moving a beat at a time. It doesn't matter that the beginning is in a weird place because we can just put that wherever. And even if I'm zoomed right out and we're in adapt to zoom mode here, you'll see it will just do exactly the right thing no matter what. And it's very easy to place. There's no faffing around. And then you can get on with being creative rather than worrying about what the computer's doing. So as ever, hope you found that useful. And if you have, please like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.